All right. So we're going to start at the end of the list and work our way up. The first one is Vetiver by Carbon. It is a fragrance that's very lemongrass and vetiver heavy. To me, it does not have a lot of sillage. It smells really herbal, fresh, clean, and green. It's a fragrance that I'll be rocking for this summer. Next up, Davidoff Cool Water, the coolest edition. It's a fragrance that is very similar to the Cool Water DNA with a note of peppermint. It doesn't have the biggest sillage. You can go full steam ahead, which is really unloading on this fragrance. This is a huge bottle. I probably won't ever finish this. So I've decanted, I've given away all of those things. And I really just feel like this fragrance suits me. It's very clean, fresh, sexy. It does have that fresh out of the shower vibe, peppermint clean, sexy, can't go wrong with this one. Next so, up, Clean Endless Summer. It's a fresh, fruity, floral fragrance. Oh, it really smells good. This one is typically marketed toward women. I want it in a raffle, perfect for year round. However, it does lean very, very summer-like. Heavy and rolly, coconut, vanilla, sandalwood. It's not fruity in the sense of, I almost ate it. <laughs> it's not fruity in the sense of like Herba Pura. It's Next up, a classic CK Summer 2019. It has a driftwood concept, tea, and solar notes. This is one fragrance you cannot overspray, in my opinion. Quite frankly, none of these that I've mentioned so far are ones that you can overspray. They, to me, need that extra oomph. So I'm a oversprayer, and I really feel like doing about 10 sprays of this one is really going to give you what you need as we think about it. Yeah, this is just a, a feel-good fragrance. Fragrances like this, especially for the summer activities, Taste of Chicago, outdoor fest, concerts, you're going to want to layer this on with some good moisturizer. I'm going to put you on real quick. You moisturize with a good body butter. Mm, that smells so good. Mm. Wash your ass first. Make sure that you're fresh and clean out the shower. Moisturize and lay it on a fragrance like this. Mm. You just really can't go wrong. So coming up next, Moschino. Cheap and chic, I love love. It's another fragrance that's marketed toward women. It has that fizzy, kind of sweet, mandarin, clementine, orange situation going on. Another one that you can't overspray. I don't spray it a lot, but I know I need to be a little heavy on the trigger because my skin tends to absorb fragrances. And this is one of them. It's got a lot of citruses up front. Lemon, grapefruit, and orange all up top. Bull Rush and Lily of the Valley in there. Bull Rush is like those, what we used to call them, cattails. Get that dry, reedy type of situation because it's definitely something in there that smells very mossy. And there is musk in here. Next up, Dolce & Gabbana's La Imperatrice. This fragrance is heavy on the strawberry, watermelon, musk. I've worn this one layered with a few fragrances. And to me, this fragrance does very well to support a fragrance. Kind of smells like strawberry shampoo, herbal essences a little bit. It features the note of watermelon, one of my favorite fruits. But it's an amazing fragrance. It too is a unisex fragrance, but it's typically marketed toward women. It's not that expensive. It's not big on the sillage or the projection. However, it smells delicious. It smells amazing. At about four ounces, you really can't go wrong with spraying it. We're rocking this for the summertime. It's just perfect for the warm weather. To me, on me, for me, okay? okay. Next up, we got Jean-Paul Gaultier Airlines Aviator. This fragrance is a new acquisition for me, and it has a lot more freshness and sweetness than I realized that it would. And I'm not mad at that. I do need to go a little heavy on the sprays and I feel like this one sticks better on clothes. However, the scent profile screams summer. Kind of smells like, I remember the Jean-Paul Gaultier Popeye or fresh smells like, but this was just a little sweeter. Kind of that mint 
paired with that tonka vanilla all of that just really gives this a good base it's not very loud but it is very present I feel like wearing this on trips would be smart because you can be in close quarters and it can really just do its thing without it being overpowered next up one of my favorite fragrances that i had the pleasure of discovering that is not gonna break the bank tommy bahama set sail saint Barb. it's salty mojito lime woods such an outstanding fragrance and especially for the price point you cannot beat it also look at that denim man i've had this one probably since i started collecting seriously it's been lasting because this fragrance performs very well that's one thing i really enjoy about this the fragrance performs it does what it's supposed to do it gets in it stays on the skin it does not disappoint and if i didn't say it it's a great alternative to creed's virgin island water it just does what needs to be done. Next up, Moschino Toy 2. This is another fragrance that's marketed toward women. It's a fresh, fruity floral that just works. It smells very good on my skin. It was actually my scent of the day, Saturday, two days ago. And what can we say? The Atomizer is good too. If you're a daring fella and you have no qualms about smelling good and fresh, soft sillage, but this fragrance actually lasts and performs on some apple. We're going to get some mandarin. We got some white currant, jasmine, musk, sandalwood. The standout going to be that apple. I really feel like this was slept on. A lot of people don't talk about it as much as I feel they should, but it's a great addition. A lot of people hate these bottles. I don't. This is one of the fragrances that I just really enjoy and feel like it's probably going to be in my collection from here on out. Next one. up in and it's Barbados Artisan Pure. Heavy on the citrus, the woods. There's an element of dryness to this. One of those things where you kind of go, go <clears throat> it's something in there that makes me feel like that, but it is beautiful. Mm, harsh, but I'm not mad at that for my fragrances in the citric family for the simple fact they're not gonna last that long on my skin. So I tend to spray these types of fragrances hit areas of the skin with a focus on the clothes because they'll last a little bit longer on the clothes. And since they don't have the heaviest oil concentration, you won't ruin your nice shirts. So that's my suggestion. For the summertime, fellas, ladies, for the summertime, for the fragrances that tend to not really last, hit the clothes. Matter of fact, boom. Bar -bar. Next up, Club de Nuit. Milestone. This one is a dupe. If Creed's Millicene Imperial, Ambergris, Watermelon, Aquatics, it's salty yet sweet and fresh. That DNA is just ugh, something of dreams. You get a lot of juice for it too. It smells so amazing. This fragrance actually performs as well. So I'll put you in the mind of what this is like. This is like Christian Dior's Higher Energy. This is like Ed Hardy's Love and Luck. It's also very similar to me and my nose to Carolina Herrera Chic, which I recently just finished. It's right here on this dresser here. And um, I figured I'm not going to repurchase it because I hate that cap on that bottle. And also, Carolina Herrera just kind of rubbed me the wrong way lately. Comment down below. Have you all heard some of the things that were put in the media about how she feels about when you get a certain age, how you should dress. Let me know what you think. And I just felt like as a society, you let people do what they want to do. You know what I mean? As long as they're not hurting anybody and they're expressing themselves and they're being true to who they are, I don't really see a problem with that. I think it just becomes a little problematic when you tell people what they should do based on age, especially when it comes to something as personal as style and fragrance. Next up, we have a fragrance that I actually found out about on another the fragrance enthusiast and influencers channel, and I have not been able to let it go yet. Shout out to Lulu. That fragrance is Rasasi's La Yaquam Jasmine Wisp. This fragrance is heavy on the floral, but also heavy on the fruits. You get passion fruit, pear, peach, mandarin, vanilla, tonka. It's sweet, floral, sexy. And it also reminds me of Titiana Terenzi's Kirkay. It's a great alternative. If you can see, nice little dent in there, just a little bit less than half. We don't know what we're going to do about this one, but this is so sexy. And I've learned that this one pairs well with layering. 
and I'm getting more into layering these days just for the simple fact of I have a larger collection and I need to make rotation of these fragrances, right? So, Rasasi's La Yaquam, Jasmine Wisp, marketed to our women, but if you're a daring fella and a gentleman, you can pull this off with no problem. I wear it and I tested it with one of my homeboys. He told me he wouldn't be able to tell that it was a fragrance made for women. Just for the simple fact of how it was coming off of my skin and blending with my chemistry, it smelled amazing. So, fellas, I'm going to tell you this. If you are apprehensive to try other fragrances that are intended for other genders, the only true thing that fragrance is, is subjective. Fuck with it. Coming up, this fragrance here, I have been rocking so much. Like, it's been a go-to for when I am out vacations or trips. It's also been a go-to for when I'm just going out, period. It is a great layering fragrance. Shout out to my fragrant family. They sent me a sample of this fragrance and it broke before it got to me. But by the time I opened the package, it hit me in the nose and I've not been the same since I smelled it. I've bought countless dupes of this fragrance. I feel like even though I enjoy the original, the dupes are gonna suffice just for the simple fact of performance. The performance to price ratio does not make sense to me, especially when I can find a similar performing fragrance at a fraction of the cost. Let's get into this thing. We are talking about Amir Trillium, better known as Roja's Elysium. <sighs> Y'all. This fragrance does it for me. You hear me? Look at that dent. Stop playing. Like, I could. <laughs> it just. <sighs> the presentation is good too. Like, it really looks like and gives the experience. Very citrus heavy. The rolling has some rolls in there. <sighs> it just smells so good. This one here is a unsolicited compliment getter. I've never worn this and not gotten compliments. People stop me and ask me what I got on and why do I smell so good? Ladies, men, old, young, this one, if you want compliments, this the one. This is the one. This is the packaging for Trillium. I haven't done a review on it yet, but I will. Like, this whole experience here is very similar to what you're gonna get with Roja Elise. I just feel like this fragrance at the price point that it's at, at about 40 bucks, it does what needs to be done, especially when Roja Elise is 315. This fragrance on my skin does not last as long as, however, I spray liberally and I hit the clothes and the post points. It gives me about three or four hours of performance. That's pretty much it. It projects but not really far so it'll be within your radius scent bubble i've had people tell me they can smell me from across the room with this one i must go nose blind to it because it's heavy on the citrus woods and right up underneath the nose it may just kind of tune it down all right now we finally get into the top three i just gotta say this one's a newer acquisition for me um i paid full retail for this one so you know I have to be feeling it, right? It's Dolce Gabbana's Light Blue, Italian Love. It's heavy on the grapefruit and it just does that so well. This grapefruit in here is not the pissy kind of grapefruit that most fragrances will have. Oh my God, it just really picks up on that perfect peel, the zest, the sexy. This one actually lasts and performs on my skin as well, about five or six hours in the heat. And I'm gonna be rocking this one this summer next up this is another one that i purchased full price i've had similar iterations to this fragrance i went through them very quickly what i really need to do is fool with the original dear own cologne think of like an italian ice with some sprite or grapefruit that's what you're getting here you smell jimmy Choo man ice very similar to what we got going on here. However, I think this one lasts just a little bit longer. And of course, that Dior Atomizer, you know what it is. So sexy. So sexy, citrus, musks, clean, classy, confident. This fragrance to me is what I believe and think of when I think of confidence. Very sexy, summertime fragrance. 
is gonna last roughly about four ish, five ish hours on my skin. Projection is moderate. High price point, it's still retailing for about the 90 to 100 for the two and a half ounce. Last but not least, coming up on a fragrance that I bought for retail, and I had to order it from overseas because I couldn't get it and I couldn't find it here when I wanted it. It's one of those fragrances that I took a risk on blind bought and it actually paid off, so I'm not mad about it. And that is going to be Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Beau Le Parfum. Listen, if you like coconut, you like sexy, this fragrance does not disappoint. It is a master performer. It has great longevity. It stands up in the heat. And I honestly feel like the ladies could rock this as well. Just because of that floral background, it kind of has that deep perfumery and it's bordering on a niche quality. I've not smelled anything like this in my collection. And on top of that, it performs. I don't even need a lot of sprays of this one. So it is a little bit sweet. Some individuals may not like that it's as sweet as it is. I don't care. I love it, actually, because it performs. It does what it needs to do. Two sprays, fills up a whole room. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, I could, I cannot wait till y'all get smell of it. <laughs> so I can spray these and y'all can smell and see exactly what I'm talking about. If you've not smelled this fragrance, let me know. Somebody need a decan. And if you made it this far, you need a decan. So let me know. Oh, my God. It smells so freaking good. Jean-Paul Gaultier is one of my most collected designer houses. I think I have six from him. They work well with my chemistry. They perform. They project. I get compliments. This is another one that I usually pack in my bag anytime I'm taking a trip just because I feel like when I'm out and about, this fragrance will encapsulate me and walk before me and introduce me to different people that I need to meet. <laughs> so again, it's been your man on Common Sense. Thank you for coming along with me on this top, what, 16? <laughs> this top 16, because I couldn't make up a decision and whittle this down to the top 10, just for the simple fact, it's too many fragrances out there, especially for summer. I love summer. Summer is my favorite season, so I felt like why not give you more value than you expect? I love you from the bottom of my heart, the top, the sides, the bottom, a little lift it up, get a little up there, put it back down, and give you all the love on top. I appreciate you all for coming by, rating, liking, sharing, sticking with me in these times because, again, I'm not as active as I used to be, but I'm going to fix that because we got some great developments coming up and I want to share that with you. Let me know in the comments which of these are your favorite, which ones are you rocking, and which ones do you want to spam? Oh, I'm out. Till next time, y'all.